One song concert, take 10. <laughs> it's even getting darker as I try over and over again. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I feel like with these one song concerts, I'm going up against a final boss and I just keep dying. Ugh. boss I would be chopped in half because I messed up at the very end so big that it was like totally meaning of the song almost changed the final lyric is not I've got to shine it's I've got to fly I did not know why all of a sudden in the past half hour it became shine and it's like that's not right it's wrong with you so I've got to fly anyway yes I don't know what I'm gonna name this song yet I literally have been writing it since yesterday evening <laughs> my fingers are so so sore. <laughs> They're so sore. And you see the fingers. Uh, <laughs> the fingers are so sore. Um, what happened is I was supposed to go to um, ShadowCon this weekend in Memphis. And car drama and stuff happened. And uh, 
even though I probably had the money to go, but not really because my car went into the shop for a nice, big, hefty, pricey deal. Um, it just, it wasn't wise, you know? Um, and it, it, yeah, I'm sitting here wondering, oh my God, you know, how am I going to pay this? How am I going to pay that? So uh, I had to decide to stay home and basically make lemonade. And this song is my lemonade. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of a bummer because I was going to like uh, lead the silk circles at the con. I had been negotiating, uh, my husband actually had been negotiating it for me. Um, fortunately, I had uh, brought in um, the very talented Melinda Lefevers to be there with me. And so she's able to pick up my mess. Thank God for that. Thank God for Melinda Lefevers. And uh, while I sit here stranded in my house waiting for my car to be completely fixed. I mean, I'm not stranded at the moment. It's not in the shop, but I've got to drop it off again on payday. <laughs> Guys, car drama, car drama. I'm going to write a song about car drama. Anyway, the song, I might name it, It's Not You. I haven't decided yet. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, it's from the point of view of my first love. Um, and uh, one thing I've... Uh, never heard is a uh well first off i've never heard a goodbye letter from frodo to sam so now there is one but also uh it's uh it touches on what's wrong with frodo um i always felt that tolkien did a very good job of portraying shell shock um through frodo because frodo was shell shocked um uh, it could have been from Tolkien's personal observations, experience, or whatever. I mean, shell shock is not a new thing. It's just the way we address it now is um, a new, a new thing. And um, so uh, that that was pretty good. Uh, that he, the way he handled it. I mean, he handled it well, realistically, and 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 gave Frodo an out because back then, if you had shell shock, you didn't get to go sailing away on a white ship to some place that would ease your soul. Um, or you could sell away in other ways. <laughs> I've often wondered if selling on those ships was just wasn't another uh, a metaphor for dying. Um, so, uh, it seems to be obligatory when you're a filker to do a Tolkien song. So, voila, there is my Tolkien song, guys. I may never do another unless it's from the point of view of the ring and that's all I feel about you cannot have my idea. No, mine. Mm. Uh, but I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one song concert. <laughs> Not so live from the prison, from the car broke down prison <laughs> of coldish southern Illinois. I'm, I'm going to shut up now.